feel like you just can't get Facebook right, that once you have figured out something or you think you figured it out, like one thing out, something else comes along or everything changes. As you know, Facebook, it changes daily, but what do you actually have to pay attention to and what can you just not worry about? Today, I'm going to walk you through the four sneaky tricks that you can use to dominate Facebook in your local real estate market. Sneaky tricks that have never changed despite the algorithm shifts. They've never changed and now they are backed by 43 million Facebook posts of research. Oh yes, I'm going to share you the research. I'm gonna share you the tricks. I'm gonna show you what to do. That's what we're gonna to do today. I am Christina with Leads and Leverage and I help real estate agents create more time, make more money and enjoy the journey. And you guys are amazing. Thank you for joining me. I love that you're joining me. And welcome to another episode of The Ribbit Show. And as always, if you're on Facebook, if you're watching this right now on Facebook, if you just comment below, I'm going to actually send you over my notes, my resources, and the... Um, tricks, the four sneaky tricks that I'm going to teach today. I'll send those over to you via messenger. Just comment below. If you're watching this on YouTube, IGTV, or Twitch, if you look in the link, the description of the video, there's going to be a link to this original video and you'll be able to get all of these resources as well. So everybody who just comments below, you get all the stuff. You guys are amazing. Hi there. Hi Lynn. Hi Dot. Hi Eldolf. Hey, Wow, Adolfo, so sorry, I like stumbled over that. So we're gonna talk about four sneaky tricks that you can use to dominate your local real estate market. And I did say that they've never changed. These are tricks that I have been teaching for the last five years on Facebook for real estate agents, for your local market, and just this week for a, a research-backed article with, um, they've used 43 million different Facebook posts from the top 20,000 brands to show you that these things that I've been teaching you, that they didn't do it for me personally, but what I'm teaching you, this is what works. This is what keeps working. This is what will keep working for you. And we're going to go over that today. Good morning, James. Thank you. All right. So here's what happens. Every single day, whether I am at a conference in person with you guys, or I'm in Facebook groups watching you talk and react, or I'm at local events and I'm listening to realtors talk, etc. Here's the thing. I watch you guys panic, react, or get so frustrated and upset or angry or just, just frustrated with Facebook because it's constantly changing. And this isn't just Facebook. This is like everything, like upset about, not just upset, but you're constantly reacting, kind of panic, re panic reacting instead of plowing through and just implementing. And I realize that it's coming from a place of wanting to do the best for your business, for your clients, et cetera. But the truth is, it's actually from a panic reaction place. It is not from a place of um, strategy. It is not from a place of a good, a good path to follow. So I'm going to help you guys through this. So I don't want you to jump from thing to thing. I don't want you to jump from thought to thought. Because when you do that, you don't move forward. And so we're going to focus on what can get you moving forward that you never change. These are things like I'm telling you, the four things that I'm going to tell you to do today, the four things that we're going to talk about through this art, this research, I'm going to share the research with you. These four things, if you never stop doing them, they've been working for the last five years. If you never stop doing them and don't go chasing other stuff, you will see success on Facebook. You will. 
Absolutely. So let's talk a little bit about the research. Again, if you guys say hi or comment below, I am going to message you. Go check, check your messenger after you comment below. I am going to message you with the link to this research, with my notes from today, and with the four sneaky tricks that I'm going to teach you. So definitely say something below if you want these notes. You can say anything you want. Today I'm not doing like a keyword. It's just to say hi. Say, uh, yo, say what's up, <laughs> whatever you want, but say something below, comment below to get this. All right, so here's the thing. I got this from, this is actually Buffer. Buffer wrote this article, but what they did was they analyzed 43 million Facebook posts. How can they analyze 43 million Facebook posts? Because they're actually a posting tool. Buffer is a posting tool. It's not the one I recommend. I don't not recommend them, but it's not my top one but they are able to look at all the posts and the different brands that are on Facebook from what goes through their system and they can give this. They analyzed 43 million Facebook posts from the top 20,000 brands. And you know what they came up with? Really, really interesting. I'm gonna go over the highlights for you real quick. It's actually a pretty easy article to read and they give you access to the full data in a spreadsheet. But here are the highlights, okay? Number one, highlight number one, despite the video and, and links, you could put text posts up, you can put link posts up, you can put video posts up, you can do live streams and images. Images still receive the most engagement okay so images receive the most engagement that's not a real hard thing to figure out people like pictures it's like they like pictures this is true even over video now live video is different but this is true even over video when you're comparing uploaded videos images and text and link posts link is when you share like a post to your blog or something images receive the most engagement so if you're looking for engagement you need to put images out there. I'm gonna talk about the four things you can do here. Hi, you guys, thank you. Again, if you want the notes, the resources, and the tricks, just comment below, say whatever you want at the moment. I am going to be asking you a question. So remember, I always ask you this question <laughs> because I need to know from you guys. I always ask you this, so make sure, be prepared, be listening today to be able to share with me what's the most useful for you. Okay, so images receive the most engagement. That's number one highlight from the article. We're gonna talk about what to post here in a minute and, and what you should be doing on Facebook, the four sneaky tricks, but I need to share the research for you to show you that this is all backed by research. Okay, number two, you guys, I have been teaching you how many times you should be posting every single day for the last five years. Does anybody know how many times you should be posting every single day to get the highest overall page reach? Do you know how many times that is? Take a wild guess how many times you should be posting every single day to get the highest overall page reach. Come on, you guys, put it in there. How many times do you think a day? Well, I'm just gonna tell you, but comment below if you know. Five five times a day. If you post five times a day, a day, every four to six, about every four hours, about four to six times a day, at five times a day, your page will receive the highest overall page reach. That means if you go more, if you post more than that, your overall page reach actually declines. If you post less than that, your overall page reach does not get the highest it can get. You need to post four to six times a day, AKA research shows five times a day, five times a day. That is your best option. Number three highlight from this research, from this research, number three highlight is your page category is important. If you, because of the way it lays out your page and how Facebook determines how, how much reach you should get based on your um, content, perceived content on the page. Page category is important. Number four highlight from the research. So pre-recorded videos, I'm not talking live streams, pre-recorded videos must be under two minutes. Yes, 
two minutes. 30 to 90 seconds is the ideal pre-recorded video length if you're going to put videos on your page. Now, do, do saying all these things mean you shouldn't put anything else out there? No, absolutely not. But I wanna show that these are the highlights from the article. These are the things that you need to take away from this research because they affect you on your page in your business. Now, what does this translate to for you as a real estate agent in your market? Here are the four sneaky tricks I have been teaching for the last five years on Facebook, okay? Number one, you need to post four to six times a day without fail, never stopping, never ceasing, four to six times a day, period on your page. This is your business page. This is not your personal profile. You must focus on getting your content out four to six times a day without fail. This is important. That is why inside leads and leverage, we have 102 pieces of content every single month with other content that can be reused for members to use on their pages. And this content is customized. I'll show you how in just a minute here. Number two, if you need to po focus post four to six times a day, you need to have access to the content because you don't have access to that content and you don't have time to be going and researching it. That's why we do that inside leads and leverage. Number two, you need to be focusing on what your people want. Now, here is what I mean. If you're just posting four to six times a day and you're just throwing stuff out because it fulfills a check mark, meaning it's one of the times a day you're supposed to post, that's not going to help you. You need to tap into your audience's top reasons for engaging online. And there are five main things from this research that I am giving you the link to. The five reasons people share online is one, to delight others with valuable and entertaining content. Two, to identify and present themselves to others. Basically guys, we want to look smart. We want to look like we're the first to know something. We want to share what we have. We want to influence others. Those are my words for it that I've always been teaching you. This is now the research says delight others with valuable and entertaining content. Identify and present ourselves to others. Yeah, we want people to see us as we want them to see us, right? Foster relationships. Are we promoting something, engaging something, a passion for something? Self-fulfillment is another reason and spreading the word about issues, products, and brands. Now, it is no coincidence that most of the viral content on Facebook is related to food, animals, fashion, humor, and beauty. And do you know where real estate stands on this scale? When you look at this article, you're going to see it. It's like nothing, like nothing, nothing. Do you know why? It's because of what we post that about real estate. When we're posting our listings, when we're posting articles or like just random articles or random data or random stats, that's not interesting to the consumer. So you need to figure it out in ways that are more interesting. So here's, let me tell you, the one of the top four things that you can post average interaction by topic is DIY. Well, guess what? You can move that real estate ranking up by posting things that, that are involving DIY in your house, your remodeling, your landscaping, et cetera. You change that content, you change that real estate content to not be about you and selling your crap. And it's not crap, it's houses. But if you want people to engage in your page and get to know, like, and trust you, you have to be posting things that they're interested in. You have to and you've got to make it into that DIY category. So you need to post four to six times a day without fail, and you need to focus on what they want and like. And yeah, they like pets, they like passion, passions like um, like uh, things they support and causes, they like DIY, they like food, and you can actually connect food to kitchens and entertaining space. There's so many ways you can make this connect with things. That is two of the sneaky tricks. You need to focus on what they like and you need to post four to six times a day. Number three sneaky trick. Number three sneaky trick. 
you need to make a whole heck of a lot of less than two minute videos. And oh my gosh, if you're afraid of the video, let me just tell you two things. Number one, if you don't want to get in on front in front of the video because you don't like how you look, I hope to heck that you are staying in your house every single day and not letting anybody see what you look like. Because guys, what you guys and girls, what you look like is what you look like. And if you're afraid to get in front of the video, I'm really hoping you're afraid to be in front of people. You it it does it makes absolutely zero sense that you don't like being on video. And yet you're okay being in front of people. Makes no sense to me. You are you you are who you are. You talk like you talk. You look like what you look like. Get over it and get your little butt in front of video. We'll actually get your face in front of the video. Yeah, that's kind of a kick in the pants because I'm so sick of people saying, well, I don't like the way I look. And I'm like, do you go out in public and see people? Are you afraid to do that? Because it makes no sense that you would be afraid to be on video like this and yet still go see people doesn't make sense the connect the, the connection it's like it doesn't make sense to me so you guys you have to realize that you look like what you look like you sound like what you sound like get over it and get on video now with that said you need to make a whole lot of less than two minute videos and get them on your Facebook page. And I'm not talking live streams, I'm talking videos. And you can do two different kinds that are really, they're pretty powerful for you. The first one is a connection video. That's what, that's actually what my mentor calls videos where you share something that you're passionate about that is maybe contrary to the industry or contrary to what's going on. For example, maybe some of you guys have seen my UBU video. It is basically, I am really sick of people telling us we have to be someone different, act different. I don't know, whatever else in real estate. The other one is that I fully, firmly, 100% believe that our industry is out to make us fail. Why else do 87% of us fail out of the business in less than five years because of how we glorify people who do real estate in a way that the consumer doesn't like, which is why we all look like used car salesmen. Uh-huh. There, It's not about relationships. They try and pretend like it's about authenticity and transparency and relationships, but it's not. Those are two of my big stick it to the industry things that I'm like, yeah, I'm going to take on the industry in this because I think it's, I think it's bad and detrimental for agents. What do you think is bad and detrimental for the consumer? What do you think that they're not getting empowered by or for? What do you think? Are you think now, let me tell you this. If you live in a lower cost of living area where homes are running under 200,000 or under 150,000 annual incomes are under 50,000. If you do your research, I would be willing to bet that most of your buyers would not be able to take advantage of the mortgage uh, uh, interest uh, write off on their taxes. So you could really take that topic and go with it and say, look, if they're telling you, yeah, it's a mortgage write off, blah, blah, blah. And you're not even itemizing your taxes, which, by the way, that's those are the, the parameters that I just gave you a, a certain dollar amount in mortgage, especially especially when the interest rate is so low and incomes are low and they 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 can only write off a certain percent. Guys, if you do your research, you might be in a market where people are touting this, but it's not used. It's only used by less than five or 10 or 15% of the people in the market. That would be a connection video. Educating the public that sounds contrary to what the masses are doing. For example, another example as a real estate agent, I'm sorry, but the NAR economists have been a laughing joke as long as I can ever remember. Always, because they always spin things to make real estate look good or make buying look good or selling look good. Always, like always. They always have. They did during the recession. Everything, guys. They always did. And so I would always call them out. No, I'm not an, econ an economist, but I would compare them to all the rest of the economists that were going on or what was actually happening in our market at the time, like all the way down to a sin individual house. What is happening in your market, in your industry, in your area that you can take a stand on that bugs you beyond belief? Stand on that. That is a connection video. You need to take a stand. You have to have people not like you. Flat out. You have to go for it. You want to go for getting those enemies. You're like, what are you talking about, Christina? Here's the thing. 
if you don't have people who completely disagree with you or can't stand you or whatever, then you don't have people who absolutely love you and like will follow everything you say. You have to have haters in order to have lovers. Now make sure what you're doing and saying is factual. It's actually going to help people. Don't just make crap up. Like really, but you need to be, you need to be a little bit kindly divisive, if you will. You need to take a stand for something. That is a connection video. Number two type of video, do a whole boatload of sneak peeks. And I don't mean sneak peeks of listings. I mean, give them sneak peeks of parks, of um, bike trails, of downtown, of neighborhoods, of business centers, of like, give them sneak peeks of all kinds of areas. Talk about it. What do you like about it? What don't you like about it? What do you wish they would change? What do you know that they're doing? Do stuff that's under two minutes, quick little vignettes around your area. Be the source of the lifestyle of everything that's happening in your area. You are, they want to know, you know, the area, you know, the market, show them. You can't tell them this. You got to show them this. So number one, post four to six times a day without fail, just without fail, period. And if you have struggle, struggle getting the content, well, that's what we give inside. One of the pieces that we give inside Leads and Leverage, content that you can take and you can customize it for your market, your area. Number two, focus on what your people want or like. You got to do that. Number three, make a whole lot of less than two minute videos. Got to do that. Number four, four sneaky trick. Number four sneaky trick. Right now, inside of Leads and Leverage, we are doing our August challenge with all of our members. One moment. I need a drink. It's just a buy. It's not like a, it's not a drink, drink. Not that time of day yet. Right now, inside of Leads and Leverage, we are doing a challenge with our members. And August's challenge is a local photo vault challenge. So basically I am challenging members every single day for 21 days. And every day they're going out and taking pictures locally. I'm giving them the ideas of exactly what to take pictures of and what, what angles, what pieces, et cetera, of each of those things. And this vault that we're creating, all of these pictures that we're creating, it's going to be our content for the next 12 months. So in 21 days, we're gathering a whole plethora of local photo content that we can put out. You need to be putting out lots of local photos. People like local. They like photos. You can do all kinds of different things from doing like um, that was then, this is now stuff. You can do, um, give them updates on what's like things, that, changes that are happening, neighborhoods that are being built, um, streets that are changing, all you, so many things that you guys can do, but you need to be that source. You need to be sharing. And the beauty, the beauty of Facebook, excuse me, I keep hitting the mic. The beauty of Facebook is that you can so quickly become the expert, the source, the page and person that loves your area so much that you're sharing it with the world and the community gathers around and collaborates with you. This is huge. So number one, post four to six times a day without fail. Number two, post what they like and want. They want food and cats and DIY and local. Three, make lots of less than two minute videos, make connection videos, make sneak peeks, do everything. Number four, post a whole lot of local photos. And you know, obviously you're going to need more than these things. That's why, like I said, inside Leads and Leverage, we have that. And you're welcome to join us inside Leads and Leverage. I sent you the link. If you comment below, that link is included inside the tricks notes and resources that I'm sending you. So just comment below. It'll come over to you via messenger. All right. So I'm going to recap this while I'm recapping this. For those of you who've been watching the whole time, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to tell me what was the most useful for you. What was the most useful for you today? So we recap this. We talked about the research done from 43 million Facebook blog posts by Buffer. 
images receive the most engagement, you need to post five times a day because that is your highest overall reach. Your page category is important. Um, I'm saying you do not want a local business category. You are not a local business. You are a service. You as an agent are a service. Unless you're a property management company or you are the brokerage, you are not the local business. You are a product or service. That's important. Number four, pre-recorded videos must be under two minutes. Those are the main four highlights from that research. What does this translate for you? Or how does this translate for you? It means you need to post four to six times a day without fail. It means you need to focus on what people want and like on your page, make it contextual, connect it to real estate in some way. Number three, make lots of less than two minute videos. I walked you through connection videos. I walked you through sneak peeks, etc. Okay. There's, there's that number four, you need to be putting up lots of local photos. It's huge. Now, Jerry said much better than Facebook lives that are at least five minutes, two minute videos. That's what helped her the most. Yeah. Okay. Now there's two different realms here. Okay. If you're going to do pre-recorded videos, they need to be less than two minutes. And you're right. Jerry's absolutely right. Those can be easier than a Facebook live. That's 15 minutes. Now you need to understand that they're, it's, it's hard to say what you need to say in less than two minutes. It's not quite as easy as you think. However, for Facebook Lives, it's easy for me to keep going and talking and sharing you guys because I get ideas and you inspire me with questions. Obviously, two different things. But and they did not actually talk about Facebook Lives in the research. So we're just talking your other posts, not Facebook Lives. But yes, if, if two minute videos are much easier for you than a 15 minute Facebook Live, flip and do those videos, get them up there. They're important. And to have, you know, Pam, you're right. To have lovers, you have to have haters. You have to have people who don't like you. And they're going to, the trolls are going to come out of the woodwork. Like they're going to come out of the woodwork and you're going to be like, what rock did you crawl out from? Literally. All you do is delete and ban them. Just get rid of them. Bunny says, I found posting five times a day and the photo vault, very helpful. Yes, that is huge. James said, makes lots of less than two minute videos. Absolutely learning about how many times to post. This is a big one, Valerie. You are like most people think one or two times a day, a couple times a week. A lot of the real estate vendors that sell you content that auto posts on your page, a lot of them have not made it clear that you need to post on your page, not your profile. Although now you can't post on your profile with those vendors. It, Facebook turned it off. Thank goodness. Um, but they also don't make it clear that how much content you actually need to post. So you're paying money and not even with a good strategy. In many cases, if you're only posting once a day, you're actually losing reach rather than it helping you. So yeah, it's learning about how many times to post. It has always been four to six times a day without fail for you as real estate agents, for most pages. In fact, not all pages, but for most pages, most industry, most industries. Pam says two minute video, sneak peeks, absolutely. Pam, the other Pam says learning to give lots of info in less than two minutes. Give, you don't have to give lots of the info. You have to give very focused, very specific and be consistent. Do two or three of those a week, like create them and then pop two or three up a week. Yeah, Julius is having a library of posts and videos will be a time saver. It is huge. That is why Inside Leads and Leverage every single month, we are now doing a challenge to help batch content, batch posts, batch leads, batch everything, our lead generation. The goal is leverage. So leads and leverage. The goal is leverage. Um, okay, local pictures of the roast. Useful. Hi, Pam, listening every day. Um, Tate says, um, I'm curious, 10 years ago, real estate agents had their own websites with their own branding and URL. I don't see this today. Agents are hiding in the big pages, Zillow, da, 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 um, not protecting their own. I've also noticed Google is not including Facebook, Twitter activities and search results as they were just a few years ago. Um, okay, a Facebook page is not enough. She says, what do you think? Is a Facebook page enough? No, it's not. A Facebook page is a conduit to your own hub. Now, 10 years ago, the same, like the same number, actually there's a higher number of real estate agents that, that have their own site. Um, okay, let me, let me clarify this. She said 10 years ago, real estate agents had their own sites with their own branding and own URL. The same percent of agents still have that today because 
a lot of agents don't believe that you need your own branding and your own URL. You don't need your own branding. You do need your own website and your own URL. You can get using an agent site or a bro that's not going to help you. No, it's not going to help you at all. You can't track it. You can't retarget to it. You can't actually build a business based on it. But a Facebook page, definitely to get down to your whole question, is not enough. A Facebook page is a conduit. It is going to take this big multi billion person platform and bring the right people into your <clears throat> sphere. <clears throat> so into your email list, into your website, etc. your website, not your brokerage website, your website. So it is a leverage. It is a lever. You're going to use it. It's a conduit. That's what it is. You absolutely have to have it as a conduit, but it is not a destination. Just remember that your Facebook business page is a conduit not a destination, which is why we don't spend a lot of time in playing with the different templates for looks that Facebook has. We only use what's going to actually get us better reach, better engagement and more leads. So that's what we focus on, not the other stuff. So it is a conduit to your hub and your hub is your very own website. Nope, it's not your broker's site. Nope, it's not um, a Playster site. Nope, it's not any other vendor's site. It is your site your own site built on WordPress, not Wix, not Squarespace, not anything else built on a really good, robust black platform you host. That is why I recommend Mike Mueller with areweconnected.com. He's amazing. He's been in the industry for, I don't know how many years, as long as me, um, at least. And we actually met on active rain in 2007, I think back when we were both blogging on that platform. So he knows what he's doing and he doesn't control it. He sets it up for you and then you have the freedom to do what you want. And he's so amazingly affordable. So Mike Mueller, rbconnected.com. That name is not actually in the resources because I didn't know I was gonna be talking about him today. But you need to have a page that serves as a conduit into your website. All right, you guys, again, if you want these notes, tricks and resources, just comment below. I will send it to you via messenger. Go check it. If you're watching this um, on IGTV or YouTube or Twitch, if you click through to the link that's in the description, it'll bring you to this original video and you can get all of the re these resources. All right, you guys, you are amazing. I hope you'll join me tomorrow. Comment below and let me know what was most useful for you and if you're willing, tell me what you'd like me to teach or help or share with you next. Always open to changing my schedule for the week, you guys. So let me know what you need help on below. Have an amazing day. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Bye.